Hey guys, welcome to episode number 47. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday. And today we're gonna build a light box for filming your fish. So come along with me and learn how to be a better aquarist. All right, so here are the supplies that you're gonna need in order to build the light box. First, you're gonna need the box itself. And depending on the size of the aquarium that you're planning to use will kind of determine the size of the box that you're gonna to need to um, place around it. Um, I'm going to just use a two and a half gallon aquarium. So a box this size is fine. Um, so it's just, you know, an empty, regular corrugated box. And then um, other things you're going to need, you're going to need a straight edge. You're going to need some uh, batting material. Um, you're going to need some white paper. You need a Sharpie, some scissors, a box cutter, and some tape. And then the aquarium that you're going to place within it. So let's get building. All right, so here's the time-lapse video of me constructing the light box. You'll notice the first thing I do is measure one inch around the edges and then mark off the window which I will be cutting out. Now I mark off the, the front of the box, um, the top of the box, and the two sides of the box. And I leave the bottom of the box and the back of the box intact. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut out each of those windows that I marked with a box cutter. And I'm going to be extremely careful not to cut my fingers. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the edges that I've just cut to keep the box in one piece. And um, it's best to start with the sides, What what is supposed to be the top and the bottom of, of the, the the box as it as it ships because you've got the flap so it's two layers of cardboard instead of one and then the the longer sides are, are easier to cut because it's just one one piece of, of cardboard um, I'm gonna add paper I'm gonna tape it down to the bottom and I'm also gonna tape it down to the back side and I was lucky enough that my inside dimensions of my box match the dimensions of my paper so I didn't have to do much cutting but that will provide a nice white surface to place my aquarium against and then what I'm gonna do after I've got my paper installed is start with my batting so I'm just gonna cut the batting to the size of the top of my box and then I'm going to move on and repeat the same thing for the two sides and if I find that the batting is too light meaning that too much of the light gets through it um, I can always add another piece um, otherwise you know one one piece will do and what this does is it serves to kind of diffuse the light a little bit which allows um, which allows the light to become kind of softer when it hits the target so it's not you know a point source it's not really a harsh light but I'm gonna set up my lights to the two sides in the front and I'm done here is the finished product um, these probably aren't the best lights to use but it's what I have so I've got kinda of two two lights off to the side and the strip light up above um, you know it's it's probably not providing enough light from the top and uh, the light from the sides is probably a little too harsh but the basic concept is if you had a lot of light coming from the top and you have light coming from both sides and you get your camera positioned in such a way that you don't need to use a flash you're not going to get the glare from the glass um, and if you use acrylic I believe it's it's even less glare uh, obviously this tank is really dirty and there's nothing in it but I just wanted to demonstrate um, what this would look like uh, when you have it set up you know it's very cheap to put together it's probably only a dollar or two worth of material um, you know it's not exactly waterproof it's not exactly 
high quality or sturdy, but it'll get the job done. As long as you have the right lights positioned in the right places for your subject matter, um, it will illuminate you know whatever you have in your tank. And uh, yeah, it's it's a neat little thing to have around in case you're thinking of photographing your fish uh, seriously. So let me know what you think. If you build one, take a video of it and put it in your uh, put it as a, a, a video reply to this. I'd love to see you know what you guys are actually taking pictures of. Um, maybe I'll get a couple of my sword tails in here at some point, but that's a video for another day. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.